So at the time of this recording, Star Wars Hunters just released, and today I'm going to be playing it. Yes, I'm going to be playing Star Wars Hunters, and this is why um, First Thoughts is currently downloading, and it actually looks really cool because there is a Jedi that is like a droid. I didn't see the trailer for it that came out today, at least at the time of this recording, and it did look really cool. I'm looking forward to getting those really exciting characters, and this is free to download on mobile or Switch. I feel like Switch is a little better because of the controller, obviously, but now I'm gonna wait for this to download and then get to playing. We are logging in, and barely we can skip this trailer, but I don't think I want to. This is Orbesh, and I believe it says uh, Star Wars Hunters and Orbesh. I see the um, sort of bobblehead in the background of the Jedi, and it's looking pretty nice. I think it's going to be sort of like Overwatch and some other games. These characters look pretty nice, but I've already seen this trailer, so I'm going to skip it. Ooh, that right there is going to be the thumbnail, probably. But it looks like I'm loading into the game, and it has some really, really cool things here. Immediately off the bat, I'm seeing a droid, droidica, like someone inside of a droidica. Which is really cool. I did see this after logging with my email now. It looks like I'm a Wookiee. I think I'm going to learn the basics because I have no idea how to honestly play this game. But I'm pretty excited mainly for the characters and abilities. Because I'm really excited to see um, what characters they have. Because it looks like there's some really, 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 really cool concepts of these characters. Like the, the like I think it was an Ugna inside of a Droidica. Like, that is just amazing, and I'm really excited for the, some of the maps as well. Okay, I'm starting the training now, and it looks like this is probably going to be me starting off as Amira Vex, a bounty hunter. Then we have Utini, just some jealous scavenger hunters. I mean, I think I'm battling them? I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'm spawning as the uh, bounty hunter. I have to follow the Utini. Utoon, Utuni, Utini, I guess. Oh, look, there's a do back there. Oh, there is Gruzzle, a juggernaut Wookiee. Oh, he's not even attacking me. It looks like there's a pretty cool damage bar there. And Y will reload the, I think it's infinite fire. All right, B to climb. This is looking like a nice concept. Oh, we have... In Imperial combat. This is a Sentinel. Okay, this one might be a little hard. Oh, and Spre Sprocket. I'm like a little techie type person. I'm gonna go for Sentinel first. And wow, it is chunky. You can see the um, health bar there, which I think is really nice. And yeah, there we go. That was pretty easy, I guess, because of the first time. But I guess it introduced us to some other characters. And then here's the final one, which is a Sabora. Um, looks like I'm not seeing like support and juggernaut. I think I might dive into that later. And there's another Wookiee. Okay, I'm gonna hide back here, but I'm gonna play a little bit more, and then I'll go into an actual game. Picking my username. This is what name I want to go by. Now I can rename it. I think we all know what I'm gonna rename it to. 101 YT and wait. Oh, this game is too long. This is just Lightning 101, and I might be queuing into a match. I think this is my main character that I start with, which is like, I'm not quite sure. I think it's a bounty hunter with some rockets here, but I think I'll. Yeah, Amandra Vex, which is a relentless bounty hunter, and I've unlocked him. I think he's pretty cool. I'll go back here, see if I can queue into an actual match, and whoa. Okay, I guess I'm just spawning in as this guy, this um, uh, flying guy, which I haven't played as. I think he's um, seems to be he's a Mon Calamari, a blue Mon Calamari. I think he's on some like hover chair. Exit his new character, so we'll find out. And I don't think there's a ton of characters, so hopefully I can unlock them. I know there's the Jawa, the one that we already have, Sentinel. Oh, and there, there it is. Just finding our teams here. Looks like there's a uh, quite a few, but I'll start my first match here. 
Oh, you can like chat there and say like emoji stuff. But I think I have them super power like power ups. One of them is a grapple hook that you can see in over in the rocket. It looks like there's a hologram which I believe to be health. I think when you step into it, it will give us health. Is what I'm first saying, and we can actually grapple. So if I press L here, whoa, I can actually grapple. That is sick. I have some so certain points I can grapple. If you go to this purple hologram, I get a boost, I think. That's pretty nice, but I think it'll heal me. I'm not sure where my health is. Oh, it's bound down there. I have 200 health in total, and I do have, like, a super. If I use my rockets and get a another elimination. I'll use my rockets, and again, fourth elimination, and there's another one. Quad elimination, four eliminations, and a victory. Beautiful. That was my first game, and my first shows um, all of our stats. There it shows our stats. I got eight eliminations, zero deaths, as well as zero assists. Assists. It looks like um, there's also teams like the Gundarks and then the Mudhorns, which I guess is the blue team and the orange team. I would have expected it to be red, but looking like they have some pretty cool characters here. There's another battle pass I could spend too much money on. It looks like I got a free um, arena pass, level one Mandalore, which is a rare art. That looks pretty nice. So I'll equip that. And so they basically have another battle pass and their currency is, I would have expected it to be um, the Kyber crystals, but it's just regular currency crystals. I don't know if they could be Kribal, Kribal crystals, but it's, it was just saying me to keep loading into the match so i'll be playing a couple more of this and there we go match found and so far i believe it is always going to stay in the moss esba pod race which is i believe this is one mode i could be wrong the spra that the squad brawl which is uh teams of four battle to um the first one to the most eliminations wins and there it is mudhorns and gundarks so i think it's always going to be the mudhorns and gundarks but it's a pretty enjoyable game i know this game can only run like 30 fps because it's only available on iphone and on nintendo switch which is what i'm playing it on but some pretty cool characters some pretty cool jedi sith and some really cool other characters that aren't in any other star wars media and like i said they have pretty cool um like health things and different power-ups and boosts so i guess is currently um pretty popular and whoa okay that is that's new apparently we're in the middle of a pod race and all my team just died but um, apparently that was just a pod race that just flew by us i think i'm gonna record this entire match see how it goes completely we do have a sith on our team and this is a new character and then instantly dead didn't look like a too cool one but the wookie i know looks amazing and is one of the brutes and then i believe there's healers and attackers which the attackers are the jedi the brutes are the sentinel storm which is the stormtrooper as well as the wookie and then the attackers are going to be the jedi and the sith and then the healers are every other like scoundrel and i believe some of the other droids and other stuff and double elimination there I think it's pretty easy. It might get harder as we go since it is kind of like my first match. But, I mean, it's pretty fun as, like, a Star Wars video game. If it, It's not better than Battlefront 2 or any other game that we've been getting. But it's a pretty solid one for being a free one. I don't think you have to spend a ton of money. Matchmaking is pretty quick. And all of that is pretty fun. So, I mean, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a quick match, though. These matches are going really quick. That was only two minutes, like three minutes to complete the entire match. So you can't play a lot of this game. And I hope you enjoyed this short little tour of Star Wars Hunters. And I think it's a pretty good game. I think it's worth a download. It only took me like five minutes. I don't think it takes up too much storage. But I think this is honestly a fun game that you can play with your friends. I'm not quite sure if you can. Um, have all the parties and stuff like that but i know there's a bunch of like quests and you get a bunch of credits and then diamonds and stuff and levels but honestly i would just play just to have fun and be my favorite character 
but I know I think it's pretty cool there's like a bunch of different missions and stuff you can go on but I'm not gonna dive too deep into every little thing shield on his minigun I just unlocked the scent on the I don't even know how I'm doing this honestly but I don't think I was right with the brutes about like same thing he is a tank and he has the e-web heavy repeater with that shield it looks amazing the empire's finest I believe it is an ultimate which is um like the rare type of rarity but honestly looks amazing love this and i'm gonna see how many hunters i do have and i might play this game for a while comment down below if you think i should continue playing some of these games and making videos about them just notice the joy jedi's name is jdi which kind of looks like jedi and i think that's really cool but my top favorite hunters are definitely J3DI and Aaron Tao. Uh, and it rolls. He's inside of the Droidica. Yeah, I think this is a little better than the Jedi. I do believe this takes place during the New Republic because one of the hunters actually has a voice line that says for the New Republic, assuming that this is canon, which it probably isn't, but they're probably just taking it as a fun game. But if it did, it would be taking place during the New Republic era. And I don't know how these two characters would fit in then.